All right, all right, you little crypto bastards, we are back. So we have the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 40 series, guys. 40 series, they're coming out with the 40 series. Uh, pretty interesting. I wonder if there'll be LHR, low hash rate limiter. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Nobody knows. Uh, maybe we do. I don't know. We'll read through this. But anyway, with this GeForce RTX 40 series, you will have... You have great performance, but it will come with a great power bill. So that's an interesting topic because right now with the um, low Ethereum profitability hash rate, you got to run efficient. you got to run your cards so they're not burning a lot of power while trying to squeeze out a decent amount of uh, mega hash processing because you don't want to burn those things and have a huge power bill thus negating all the um, all the gains you're making in crypto mining so let's see if I can find that I want to see what the current profitability is at right now oh my gosh hold on a sec and crypto profitability there it is and we are let's see hold on a sec let's get that over here all right, blammo, look at that magic, the magic of Brave Browser, okay, um, let's see, where are we at, today is 13 March 2022, and we are at 0 0.0354 USD per day for one mega hash mining Ethereum, and it's, it's kind of tanking down a little bit yet, let's go to the three month view. Blammo, I don't like this at all. All right, why do I say this? Because when you start talking about these cards that gobble, gobble, gobble up power, you're not going to be making money. You're With a low mine, mining hash rate and profitability, it's just not efficient. But I don't know. It depends how much performance you're going to get. We'll see. Let's just zip through some of these. There's like four articles on this stuff. All right, there is yet another way reported that the next-gen NVIDIA series will require lots of power. Granted, we are only talking about the flagship models for now, but 600 watts. I mean, right now, the 3080 Ti LHR, which I have getting 90 mega hash on Ethereum right now on Ethermine, they're hovering a little under 300, so 275 to 300, and that's 80 I mean, that's 90 mega hash. So I don't know what these cards are going to turn out. But 600 watts? Ay, ay, ay. Not many people have that available power per card? Oh, my God. All right. But 600 watt graphics cards are still something that many of us simply cannot comprehend. Exactly. Now, I thought the Intels were coming out, which are going to be more efficient, lower power usage. So that's what I'm waiting for. I don't know if NVIDIA has jumped the shark with this and uh, no, no one cares anymore, but I don't know. I know it's still hard to get cards, good cards at MSRP. Uh, so who knows, they'll probably still make money. And full disclosure, I have Nvidia stock and I am down 25%, so <laughs> don't listen to me. Uh, the latest tweet from the uh, from a reliable, we got an airplane flying over, thank you. Oh my God. All right, the latest tweet from a reliable Nvidia leaker. Somebody plug up that leak. Co Copite 7, whatever, dude. Up here, just put your name. Quit, quit hiding. Quit being anonymous. Oh, my God. Anyway, appears to confirm that the next-gen XX90 class GPU is to feature the uh, total graphic power of 600 watts, baby. Man, that is cooking. That is cooking. I want you to note that, a cooling, uh, that cooling solutions for next-gen GPUs are designed months in advance, possibly even before the graphics chips are ready for mass production. All right. Furthermore, just because the cooler is capable of dissipating 600 watts of power, it does not mean that such configuration will be used by the GPU by default. The cooling capacity is often described as a maximum heat that can be generated by the graphics cards, for instance, when power limits are modified by the user during overclocking. Someone told me that the XX90 with 600 watts TGP has been confirmed. <laughs> I think it's too early to talk about it. Well, then... You're just looking for likes. You're 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 putting tweets out there for the uh, for the uh, affirmation that you're awesome. Nobody cares, dude. 
just give us facts, not your not your guesses. Someone told me who. Someone told me. I hate that stuff. Sorry, guys. That drives me nuts. Who who is this clown? Anyway, see my point? Put facts. Quit wasting my time. Otherwise, you're no better. You're just like a little girl. <laughs> Timmy said he liked me. <laughs> oh, whatever. All right, a 600 watt power limit will surely be a challenge for board partners. However, it won't be as complicated as some users might think. There are many air-cooled models with max TGP already reaching as high as 480 watts, such as the ROG Strix 3090 from Asus. All right, the uh, graphics card is still three-slot think and re think. What the hell does that mean? It requires three fans. Um, but this is not really that extraordinary these days. Blah, blah, blah. All right, AMD-based cards such as 600 XT, Toxic Liquid, uh, has a maximum TGP. Uh, 400 waters. All right. All right. Blah, blah, blah. It goes on and on. They're going through this stuff. All right. Enough of that article. Didn't really tell me much. Uh, new NVIDIA RTX 4090 GP rumor points to another unbelievable power draw. Yet another rumor. I'm sick of this. Why am I reading this? Just give me the facts. Rumors are useless. Uh, rumor claims a high GP, in this case, 600 watt. What? So some, some, uh, some Dweebo, uh, Posted on Twitter. Twitter is toxic. Oh, here's this guy again. Somebody stop him. Oh my! Twitter is AIDS, guys. Get off Twitter. Stop using it. It's it's just evil. Oh my God! Just stop using it. All right. Don't listen to people on Twitter. Come on. Oh my God! Nvidia's RTX 4090 or whatever the next gen flagship ends up being called is going to be a seriously power hungry graphics card. Yet another rumor is claiming. I don't know, guys. You gotta watch this crap. You're gonna be drawing so much power. I read today in California, the uh, wonderful communist nation of California, they are asking people to stop charging their electric cars because there's such a drain on the uh, power grid right now. Oh my God! And then they find out people are crypto mining, and you're bawling, drawing 600 watts per card. Uh, they're gonna come turn your power off because you know you have no due process or rights in that state. They'll just come take everything from you. And, and you'll thank them for uh, governing you harder. Uh, yeah. Just being honest, guys, you can laugh all you want, but that's the way it's going. Oh, my God. All right. There, it's the same old dude talking about the power. Big deal. Whatever. Give me some details. Give me some specs. Oh, uh, they're talking about power, power, power. Just watch out for this stuff. I think my takeaway from this, other than just being cynically realistic about this bull crap and the stupid rumors, uh, it's going to be expensive. It's going to draw a lot of power. The mining profitability is down. I don't see this. This is like a 33050 thing. It, that thing doesn't generate a mega hash. It's just stay away from this crap. It's not going to get you anywhere. Uh, you're going to have a huge power bill. It's in that, too. As they mentioned with the heat sinks being built before, you're going to have to dissipate that heat, too, in a grow tent or something. I don't know, man. I don't know. I think smaller. Six GPU rigs running efficient, like a 6600 XT or um, even a 3080 Ti, is is at the top of my comfort zone on power power draw and heat. But uh, 1660 supers, but really, I don't know. I'm really liking the 6600 XT AMDs for just the 60 uh, 60 to 70 watt power, giving me 32 mega hash on Ethereum. I like that a lot. I don't know. Just call me that. Uh, NVIDIA is good and all too. I use T-Rex and Nvid uh, NVIDIA cards and it works great. So, eh, I'm, yeah, I'm not buying this stuff. This doesn't get me excited about buying any of this stuff. Uh, NVIDIA next gen ADA rumors run wild as RTX 49 rumored to gobble 600 watts power all by itself. All right, same guy again. This guy, this clown, I mean, what do people like? Come on. He puts out a rumor. Without any substantial facts, someone, this is like CNN reporting, someone told us that things are bad. Well, who told you? Well, we just made it up. <laughs> you know, come on, man. People, critical thinking skills are a rarity these days. Read crap and question. Do not trust and verify. Doubt and verify. Uh, come on, even this stupid video I'm making. Read for yourself. Look, people wrote all these articles on one guy's tweet. This is getting crazy. I think people are starving for content to write about. I mean, I'm making a stupid video about this, but no one watches my videos. Who cares? This is just for fun. Look, here he is again. <laughs> God. I'm tempted. Oh, my God. I'm so tempted. I don't want to click. I don't want to click. Uh, I'm not going to click. 
Um, and who's Arij? NVIDIA G4 starting his 49th feature, a TBP. Oh, he, he, I think he has a... Everyone's calling it TGP. This guy's calling it TBP at 600 watts. Everyone has their own names for it. Oh, my God. This is exhausting, guys. I want facts. Oh, here he is again. What is happening? Uh, I'm going to copy this link address. We're going to make sure it's not a virus. Run it through my special virus link checker that I wrote. And let's see what happens. Oh, nothing happened. Blammo. Oh, infectious virus found. No, no let's see. All right. Hold on a sec. I'm going to bring this clown over here. Who is this guy? Dun, dun, dun. You inquiring minds want to know. All right. This guy has 11K people following him. Uh, someone told me the XX90 with 600 watt TGP has been confirmed. I think it's too early to talk about. It. Well, why did you freaking post it? You did it for the LOLs. You did it for the clicks. It's all that social media dopium, dude. Uh, yeah. Oh, you've been around since 2010. Wow, dude. You've been on Twitter way too long, buddy. Uh, la, 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 la. I'm just reading all this crap. Uh, what is this guy talking about? Oh, my God. What is he talking about? It's rumors, man. Here is what's so sick about social media. The guy posted a tweet, and then four articles come out of a stupid tweet, which is a rumor. This is how scary things are. All right, anyway, there it is. 49ers are coming out. I don't think it's juice is worth the squeeze. Um, hopefully, then maybe the 30 series and the uh, other cards will drop in price, and you can build up your rigs that way. Yeah, I don't know. All right, that's all I got. This is boring. I will talk to you all later. Let me know if you plan on buying this crap. How are you going to power this thing? And how are you going to dissipate the heat? And do you believe everything some fool types on Twitter, man? I don't even know who this guy is. And to see the four articles are written based on a rumor, it makes you wonder. you got to use your critical thinking skills, your cognitive reasoning. People post stuff on Twitter. First of all, that's a red flag. It's just crap, you know? Yeah, and then you got these guys who don't even write the article right. He wrote um, TBP. Where is it? To the TGP, this guy was kind of, I don't know, he just cut and pasted as fast as he could. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's like it's like one guy wrote it and they all cut and paste the same article. Yeah. Makes you suspect. See how you do your uh, your uh, spidey sense going, yeah, whatever. Not a story. I'm out. Enough of this crap. 12 minutes video and I wasted your time and for that I am sorry. <laughs> oh my God. All right, take care. Go out and do something. Turn your computer off. Go out. Look at the sun. <laughs> Get some sun. Don't look at it, but get some sun. Get some air. Walk around. Take a hike. All right. Say hi to another human. Don't tweet him. Just say hi. How are you doing? How's your day? You'll be amazed how much life, how life can be, how good it can be when you get away from your, your damn computers. All right. Take care, guys. <sighs> I'm out of here. Bye.